I'm joined in studio by Dr. Kim Whale. She's the project leader of the South African Reconciliation Barometer, and she's from the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation. Kim, thank you so much for joining us today. It's good to be here. Now, before we get into your findings, won't you speak to us about what this reconciliation barometer is? Sure. So it's an annual survey that collects data on South Africans' perceptions of reconciliation. Reconciliation is measured through a whole lot of different concepts, such as political culture, human security, race relations, apartheid legacy, and through asking questions on these different um, aspects of reconciliation to over 3,500 South Africans, we um, get a sense of uh, what the country perceives and experiences in relation to reconciliation. A key point is what, what I was mentioning, that the, the survey sample size is 3,500, and the way that we select our sample is through a very well set up statistical formula to ensure that the sample is in fact representative of the views of South Africans. So by the time you've read the annual report that is created by, um, by the Reconciliation Barometer, um, we get an idea of what our fellow South Africans are thinking and feeling when it comes to reconciliation in the country. Yes, and what we try to do in the, in the report is to present the statistics and the trends. So in the recent report, what we did is we looked at the Saab data over the past 11 years. So we're actually looking at whether or not reconciliation has improved in South Africa. And, um, and then we try and put these findings within a broader interpretation and analysis of reconciliation in South Africa. 